Hello! Today we're going to work on de-yellowing plastics that you might find inside your house. So what we have here is a variety of plastics from my house. Um, these are thermostat covers and they were all installed at the exact same time when the house was built and they've had different conditions in the house. So this one here doesn't look like it's experienced any yellowing at all and this was in a bathroom that has no access to natural light and never had any fluorescent bulbs. Uh, this one here uh, has very slight yellowing. You can tell if we compare it with this brand new Decora light switch cover, you can see this one looks almost new. And this one here you can see has very slight yellowing. And this one was in a bathroom that didn't actually have uh, much access to natural light at all, but it was illuminated by fluorescent bulbs for quite a while. And then this final one here, um, it's quite obvious that it's yellowed, uh, this was in a bedroom that actually faced uh, an open window, so it didn't get direct sunlight, but it had access to just the ambient light from outside. And you can see that it's turned quite yellow. Now, I've tried to fix this in the past with other parts around the house, um, and I tried to sand it. So I had this particular piece of plastic on one of my light fixtures, and you can tell it's extremely yellowed. And uh, I actually sanded the other one down. Uh, in preparation to paint it, but actually it sanded off really nicely and uh, came out really nice and white. But um, it was a really messy process and I found you had to go down a 32nd to a 16th of an inch to actually get rid of all the yellowing. So I did some research online and found a way to um, chemically reverse the yellowing process over time. And what it is, is it's a hair dye developer that you can buy from a salon or beauty supply place. And this is a uh, hydrogen peroxide uh, hair developer. And uh, what you do is you mix it with the hair dye and you'd leave it in you know, the client's hair uh, while it uh, dyed uh, the hair whatever color you picked. Or you could just use it to lighten the hair. So it's essentially a hydrogen peroxide um, uh, developer. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to put this in an old pot uh, with these thermostat covers and since I live somewhere we don't have reliable sunshine or warm days, we're going to use the oven uh, to keep the developer at a fairly constant heat uh, with the thermostat covers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this as my control since it already is uh, pretty much the right color and we're going to heat uh, this developer mixed with some water in an old pot in the oven and we're going to check on these uh, every hour and see how long it takes for them to change color or if they change color at all. Okay, the first step will be to uh, clean uh, the covers so we get all of the uh, debris and dust and whatnot off of them. Okay, next step we're going to turn the oven on to its lowest setting, which claims to be 170 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll turn the oven on and see if it's true. Because I don't actually want to melt the plastic, I just want to yeah, bleach it with the, um, the hair developer. Uh, so I'm pretty sure this is ABS plastic, although it doesn't specifically say on there. Um, so we want to keep it below uh, boiling, so it wants to be, you know, below 100 degrees Celsius, or I guess it's 212 Fahrenheit. So let's, um, let's let it preheat, and we'll see what temperature it is when it's heated. Okay, the oven's preheated now, so let's grab a, a temperature and see how hot it really is. So it's showing around 90 degrees Celsius. So that means the, um, oven isn't really all that accurate, uh, but I think we're going to be okay as long as we can keep it below uh, 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, I think we should be good. Alright, now for the recipe portion of our show. So this is the control, so we're not going to do anything with that. We're going to be color correcting these two um, by chemically reversing the yellowed plastic using this hair developer. So I'll put it in this pot here. Now, remember, it's, this is a stainless pot, so <clears throat> the hydrogen peroxide shouldn't react with it, but if you're going to use this for food preparation, be sure you wash it out really good afterwards. And uh, since there's hydrogen peroxide in here, be sure to keep it out of your eyes. Um, just be really careful with that. 
And then I've also got a couple knobs here from the thermostats. And hopefully this stuff doesn't float. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour a bunch of this hair developer in here. About half should do. And then we'll fill up the rest with water. And it is floating, so I think I'll just turn everything upside down. Here we go. And then we'll pop it in the oven. Okay, we're working on the premise that heat is going to cure this um, hair developer and uh, bleach the yellowing out of the plastic. So we're going to take one more temperature measurement before we commit. So we're 86 degrees Celsius, so again, it's more than 170 degrees Fahrenheit, but give it a shot. So we're going to leave that in the oven for an hour, and then we're going to come back and check and see if it's done anything at all, or uh, if it's uh, part way there. Alright, let's check back in an hour. Okay, it's been an hour. Let's see how it looks. Doesn't smell terrible, but let's uh, rinse them off. Okay, so after one hour, there's no discernible difference. This is the control. Uh, this is the lightly yellowed one, and this is the heavily yellowed one. Uh, they all still look the same. So let's put them back in the oven for another hour and see if anything so happens. So just in case I got the concentration wrong, I'm going to add the remainder of the developer uh, to our pot here. I'm not really sure how much you're supposed to add, but since nothing happened over an hour, we'll just put the whole schwack in and see how we do. touching it. There we go. Okay, so we'll come back in an hour. Okay, hour two. Let's see how we've done. Okay, this is uh, two hours and uh, we've added the whole bottle of the uh, hair developer and uh, let's rinse them off and see if we notice any change. Okay, that's uh, two hours, one hour with the full bottle of hair developer and still there's no appreciable change. The uh, yellowed one still looks yellow, uh, this one uh, is our control and this is the slightly yellowed one and everything looks the same. So let's uh, try for another hour and see how okay, we do. Okay, it's been three hours. Let's have a look and see how it's doing. Okay, so this is three hours. The first hour was at half strength, and the second and third hour I put the whole bottle in with the water, and it's a completely underwhelming result. I can see no change. This is the control. This was the one that had light yellowing. This is heavy yellowing. But there's no change at all. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the conventional method where they put it out in the, you know, where you put it out in the sun. And fortunately the sun's actually come out, so I'll go put it out in the sun and we'll see if we get a result. Okay, here's our setup in the sun. We'll just leave it for a couple hours and see how it makes okay, out. Okay, here's our setup from the sun. So we'll just rinse them off and we'll do a quick comparison. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So this guy in the middle is our control. Uh, this was the one that was slightly yellowed, and this is the one that was badly yellowed. Now, uh, you'll notice now that the control and the slightly yellowed one are almost identical in color now. So that's excellent. Uh, it was three hours in the sun. Uh, it wasn't very warm, but uh, fortunately the clouds uh, disappeared, so I had a solid sun for three hours. So I feel pretty good about this, to be honest. I might put this out for another hour, but... Um, it was a slightly annoying process though because the um, the parts would float up. Uh, so I know there's another method where folks use the cream version of this Salon 40. It comes with a red label, and it's like um, it's like a wet, it's like yogurt. So you just uh, smear it onto the pieces and put them in a Ziploc bag and just leave them out in the sun. But um, this seems pretty good. Uh, again, this middle one is the control. And this is the one that was slightly yellowed, and this is the badly yellowed one. So with three hours, I feel pretty good about this. So this is great. 
So I guess we found that the um, just adding heat in the oven didn't do anything. So there must be a combination between the UV light and the um, uh, the Salon 40 hydrogen peroxide um, plus uh, what is it phosphoric acid that uh, does something with the sun. And this pot has come amazingly clean. Uh, it looks really good. So you know, I guess maybe if nothing else, this is a good recipe for cleaning stainless steel pots that are hard to get clean. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I'll put this in the sun for a bit more, and maybe this one for a little bit more, and, uh, you know, whiten them up a little bit, but, um, I think I'm going to call it, uh, for this video, uh, because uh, I don't know how much more sunlight I'm going to have for today, so it might take another day, but, um, yeah, uh, summarize, this is the salon care stuff you can get for under 10 bucks at any salon or uh, beauty supply place. And if you just put it in the oven, that doesn't seem to do anything, so the secret seems to be putting it in solution in direct sunlight and uh, leaving it for a number of hours, depending on how yellow it is. Alright, I'm going to call it uh, job mostly done. Thanks for watching. Okay, just wanted to do a quick follow-up. Um, amazingly, I had two days of sun uh, after I did the original video, so I left the... Um, the yellowed and the slightly yellowed one out in the stainless pot with the solution for a couple days. And um, you can see that the control in the middle and the uh, the one that was slightly yellowed are virtually identical in color. Uh, the heavily yellowed one though, it still looks um, pretty yellow, but it'll be by itself on the wall so I think it should be okay. But um, yeah, it didn't come out as nicely as I'd hoped. But uh, these two are good, so I'll we'll just have to come up with uh, another experiment for this one or to uh, maybe get some new solution and put it out in the sun. Uh, but anyway, that's I think as far as I'm going to be able to go um, with this batch of solution. So thanks again for watching.